Hi, this is Alex with another episode of CEC Tips and Tricks, where we answer questions posted to us from our customers. This week's question comes from a customer in Thailand wanting to know how to use inline calibration and how effective is it? There's two questions here, so we'll answer them separately. Color calibration is done to ensure that the printer outputs consistent as well as accurate color. Both the Ricoh Pro C9200 series as well as the C7200 series come with the ability to do inline calibration, which means that color calibration can be done automatically. For machines that do not feature inline calibration, calibration would have to be done manually using a spectrophotometer as seen. The benefits of using inline calibration include ease of use, time savings, as well as consistent results, as it's not reliant on the skill of the operator. All we need to do is select Calibrate from our controller and let the printer do its job. So let's take a look at how to use inline calibration. This process uses three sheets of paper, so make sure that you load up the tray with your media. As a standard, make sure that you run in your printer before the calibration process. We go to Fiery Command Workstation and select Calibrate or Control Alternate C. Select Recalibrate and then click on Next. Then select the color profile you want to recalibrate, then Next. For Patch Layout Instrument, select Automated Inline Sensor and then Print. Let the machine do the calibration and once it's done, you can view the results. Click Apply and Close and you're done. One tip, we recommend running color calibration every time before printing. This is especially important for jobs which require a high level of color accuracy. We next want to address the effectiveness of the inline calibration feature. For this, we'll run a test by printing out the test chart. After we've completed the inline calibration, we'll measure the printed test chart using the spectrophotometer to see how it fares against a color standard, which in this case we're using Fogra 51. Here's the results from the measurement. We can see that the Delta E results are all within range, and the overall result is a pass. The inline calibration gives users a simple, hassle-free solution to color calibration. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section and we'll be sure to address them. That's all for today's episode. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.